An interleague matchup as 4-1 and one Milford out of the Hockamock took on 3-0 and oh Hopkinton out of the TVL. Kayla Sullivan got things started off for the Hillers. An RBI single drives in Molly Bennett. And that would be the last time the Hillers would score off of Milford pitcher Allie Atherton. We head to the top of the fourth. Bradley set to deliver. And this is a liner right over to short. Throw to first and they get two. Kate Wellzell fields a grounder and gets the double play. But then this happens. Right up and the pitch. This is in the air towards left field, towards the fence. And that's gone. A home run. Jill Powers goes yard and it's one to one. Top of the fifth, the Milford bats continue. Ali Pierre Gustavo hits an RBI single to drive in Sydney Pounds. Then the following at bat, Taylor Lebrun does this. To the set, and this is ricocheted into left field. That'll drop in for a hit. Another run is going to come around to score. A second run being waved around. A two RBI double for Taylor Lebrun. Milford handed Hopkinton their first loss of the year, taking them down 7-1. Allie Atherton went the distance for Milford, striking out four. The Hillers had one run on five hits and two errors. Milford had seven runs on 13 hits and no errors. The next day, Hopkinton welcomed Natick to their home field. Molly Bennett tripled to start the game. Lizzie Kelly drove her in with a one-out single. Then this happened. This is hit in the air towards left center, and that'll drop down for a home run. As that gets past the fence, a two-run homer for Kayla Sullivan, and it's three to nothing Hillers. Three nothing Hopkinton heading to the bottom of the third with a runner on first. Kayla Sullivan does it again. Erickson to the set. This is hit in the air towards left center, towards the fence. And that's gone, another home run. Another two run bomb for Kayla Sullivan, her second home run of the game. It is a five to nothing Hillers lead. The Hillers added another run in the third off a Nikki Como sacrifice fly to make it six to nothing. No more runs scored until the sixth inning, but boy, did the runs come. All right, to the set. On the ground, third base side, that'll get through in a left field. One run is going to score. And then after that, everyone will hold up. On the ground, that'll get through in a left field. One run around to score. And everyone will hold up after that as Lizzie Kelly scores the eight hillers run on an RBI single by Heather Holly. Right up and the pitch, and this is belted in the left field. That'll drop in for a hit. And another Hillers run is around to score, and some trouble tracking it down to left field, and a second Hillers run will come around to score. Mare delivers, and this is hit in the air to right field. That'll get in for a hit. Holly being waved around, and she is going to score. Mirabli being waved around as it was chased all the way to the fence. Two more Hopkinton Hillers run score. A two RBI double by Nikki Como. And that is going to do it. The mercy rule has been put in effect and the Hopkinton Hillers have mercy Natick 12 to nothing. The Hillers mercy Natick 12 to nothing. Bree Mirabli gets the win on the mound. Taylor Erickson the loss. Kayla Sullivan hit two two run home runs. Lindsey Whittles, Lizzie Kelly, Kate Wellzell all scored two runs. Kayla Sullivan also scored three runs of her own and had four RBIs as the Hillers improved to four and one on the season.